Hi everyone, I'm John Pio, and you're watching Mamecade episode number 20. Now, I recently held a contest where I asked viewers and subscribers to identify 20 random classic arcade games that I had assembled in a video. And one of the things that came out of this was I discovered that many players got stumped on the game Satan's Hollow. Now that's something I didn't see. I just assumed it'd be considered an easy one, especially since the music in the game is one of the most famous and iconic pieces of classic music, Wagner's Ride of the Valkyries. So what I've decided to do in this episode is showcase Bally Midway's 1982 game Satan's Hollow. But first off, let me clear up the year Bally Midway put this game out. The machine's title screen says 1981 in Roman numerals, but in actuality it was still being coded in 81. It wasn't actually copyrighted until 1982. Bally Midway pulled out all the stops to get the arcade goers attention for this machine. First off, they made the cabinet a bright fire red color with a pretty evil looking devil for side art. Now if that doesn't catch your attention, I'm not sure what will. But then, they took the control panel and made it look really slick with cool artwork, putting an oversized red translucent trigger joystick on it. Now this is the same kind of joystick that they used in their Tron game, except it was a translucent blue on Tron. And finally they gave it an eerie title like, um, Satan's Hollow? So. Let's take a look at the gameplay and take a look what made this game so interesting. As like previous shooters Galaxian, Phoenix and Galaga, you have to contend with waves of overhead attackers. But instead of aliens, this time you're fighting demons, devils and gargoyles. The simple premise of the game is to build a bridge over the flaming chasm to enter the hollow to challenge Satan himself. You have a Victorian looking cannon at the start that can shoot two shots at a time. As the game progresses you'll receive power ups that will add an additional turret to the cannon for more firepower, making you a pretty awesome weapon. If you die your firepower will be reset back to just one turret. You're also equipped with a shield to protect you from the hell spawns. Its power is limited so you have to watch the meter. You can use the shield as a weapon by ramming it into diving devils. Every time you clear two waves, Old Nick will appear and try to burn you with his sulfuric fire breath. The longer he lingers, the madder and faster he gets. Building the bridge is pretty straightforward. Each time you kill an enemy, a section of the bridge will appear at the extreme left of the screen. You'll have to pick it up and drag it to the chasm, and repeat the process until the bridge is built. At this point, you can either enter the hollow by crossing it, or you might decide to remain a bit longer. You see, each time you clear a wave of gargoyles, a flag will be placed on top of the castle on the hill. The more flags you amass, the greater your bonus will be when you finally defeat Satan. You'll notice as the game progresses, the background sky will change different colors, from bright reds to deep burgundies to purples and almost black which adds a lot of ambiance to the game, and when you consider the game had only a total of 64 colors, that's pretty impressive what they did with it. Uh, sometimes the battle with Satan could be a little anticlimactic, especially if you hit him real fast, like that. Um, but at later on he becomes much, much faster, he throws pitchforks, as well as fireballs, and of course you always have to contend with these, these big floating heads of, of Old Nick and Beelzebub. You'll also notice a pattern where there'll be waves of monsters that just come at you like crazy and you just can't imagine ever escaping it. And then after uh, a certain number it gets uh, much more relaxed, less monsters, which is really nice because it gives you a reprieve. Some of the monsters will drop flaming uh, eggs that burst into fireballs and you'll, you'll notice those are dropped by the gargoyles that are red rather than green. And the fireballs that hit the ground, if you look at them carefully, kind of look like... Um, Phoenixes bursting into flames. There'll also be uh, other characters that throw eggs that burst the sections of the bridges that you've already created, so you want to be careful for that as well. Try to use your shield often, and you'll see also, look, there's someone trying to steal my ship. You have to protect that as well. And right now I've got my double cannon, but I don't think that's going to last very long. Um, there you go. Now, 
this is a fun game. It's 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 the best of Galaxians, the best of Galaga, uh, the best of all those shooters that we're familiar with. Um, it's it's entertaining. It's fun. It's got a great topic. Now, interesting enough, the game met some opposition from the Bible Belt because of the of the topic. Um, but hey, what you're doing a good thing. You're getting rid of Satan's minions. So let's have at it. For all those who didn't know, Satan's Hollow. This is it. Uh, try to download it if you can, or you can even go to vh1.com uh, and they have a, a version that you can play on there, and I'll put the link to that uh, on the bottom. That's Satan's Hollow. <laughs>